everyone, Emily here today to show you how to make a couple cards with the new Spellbinders Better Press. I have this die, the Make-A-Wish one, but it does come with the papers already, and this floral die that says you are my favorite, and the ink. So first I'm going to start off by showing you to remove this plastic plate, and it's all magnetic, which is really nice, and I'm going to take my Make-A-Wish plates, metal plates, and place them on my A2 size, because that's the size I want to make. It's really great because it's magnetic and so you can fit it perfectly, which I'm doing here. Putting it to the right size here, lining it up, and I'm having a little bit of a space here and I'm just using the black ink and I'm pressing the ink down onto the press plate and it goes on so nicely. And then I did put my paper on the actual press itself with some tape carefully, but typically you'll want to do it on the actual plastic sheet. But I wanted to show you what this looked like. Still very good. Just a little bit of a distressed look, which I wanted. So now I'm going to do the Let's Celebrate, which is from a different press plate, the Happy Birthday one, and also these sentiments. And I'm just, again, using some black ink and going over those. And for this one, I'm taking the plate and I am taping on the paper that comes in the pack. Uh, nice and straight there onto the actual plastic part and this one is going to give a nice clean look for the ink so i'm going to show you this here and just take that off look how nice that looks it's super clean and you can feel there's like an indent there so i'm just cutting out the let's celebrate and then that way i can die cut out these sentiments so spellbinders comes with this the die with the sentiments which is really nice because you can cut out um, all these different ones at once and then you can create all types of different cards with them so here are those awesome and then I'm just gonna trim down my let's celebrate and there is that so now if you haven't noticed I really enjoy watercoloring with inks so I have these different water or er, inks from Catherine Pooler um, I'll make sure to link all the inks in the blog post, so go there to check it out. And I'm just spritzing them with water to get a really cool watercolor effect here. And I have this really nice Sizzix mat I'm using. Super nice to use with watercolors. So now I'm just blending with water and I'm just going to paint it on. I'm just painting this on the background. These paper, um, these papers are uh, can be used with watercolor, which I just love. So I'm just going through for uh, one of them, I wanted to do more of a pink uh, pink and yellow and orange type of feel. And for the other one, I wanted to do more blues. So just going through and painting my background, looks super pretty. And adding a little bit more yellow in there and dabbing it off the excess. Look how pretty that looks. It's so nice, just adds a really pretty background. So I'm going to let that one dry, and then for this one, I'm going to do the blues, like I was talking about the blues and greens. I kind of was trying to make uh, more of a feminine card and then more of a masculine type card. So I'm getting more of a darker yellow, the shea butter here, because I wanted that on the background. I wanted a little bit more yellow effect, and I wanted that to just come through a little better. So there's that one. I think that looks so pretty. A little bit more blues, a little more greens, and dabbing it up a little bit. There we go. And there's that. Looks awesome. So here they are next to each other. So you can see how different they both look, even though I'm using the same press plate, the Make-A-Wish. All right, and now I'm going to take another one of these papers, and I'm just pressing it into my excess ink. And this is just going to be for the inside of my card. I'm going to set that aside to dry. And then I, I forgot, and I wanted to add more greens and blues that I already cleaned up for my green and blue card. So I'm just literally washing that over on the paper just pressing it down onto the ink so cool so now I've cut out my card bases for my A2 um, so that's gonna go on the inside the insert um, for both of these cards and then that's gonna go on the inside there I made I did also did the let's celebrate in pink for my pink card and then I have all these sentiments I wanted to add one of each of these to the front, the fronts of these cards. But first what I'm gonna do is show you how I'm just gonna tape this onto the base of my card. So I'm using cherry tape here and I'm just very carefully lining it up, making sure it's straight 
uh, and then just pressing that down. I wanted to use tape instead of the glue because I didn't want it to bow anymore because it does have all that watercolor on there. And the same thing with my green card, my green and blue and yellow card. Great, that looks awesome. So now I'm going to do the inserts, which I do like to do. I just trimmed the edges a little bit so that it would fit perfectly on the inside. And this is where somebody can write their sentiments. And now I'm just gluing down the let's celebrate for the inside of the card sentiment. I like these sayings because they can be used for birthdays or retirements or really anything. It's pretty versatile. Um, so there's that. Now I'm just going to pick my sayings for the front. So I like the it's your day and I like birthday wishes. And I got these really cute little uh, foam dots that I'm going to put on the back of these because they are tiny. And I just want to put those on the foam dots to give them a little bit of a lift off the card there. Perfect. There's that one. Looks good. And then I'm going to do the same thing on my green one. And obviously the birthday wishes is perfect for a birthday card. But now we want to add some sequins. So I have these two uh, different sequin types from Catherine Pooler and they just go perfectly with these watercolor backgrounds I was using. So now I'm just, um, if you've seen my videos before, you know that I like to adhere, just put glue dots down first and then I go through and pick whichever sequins I would like. For the pink and purple one, I decided to put the sequins all over the card and just with a reckless abandon. <laughs> um, so I just did that and uh, just put them all over, no, you know, no particular order or anything. Super pretty. I really like that. And there's the inside. Okay, and then for this one, I decided to tame it down a little with the sequins and just do these sides where it says birthday wishes. I'm just going to go up into the corner there. And I'm going to just put those sequins on randomly like I did for the purple one as far as the colors go. And also on the left side of the birthday wishes there. It looks really cool. So two different takes kind of on the same type of card. There we go. So the sequins are just on the edges and then the, there's the inside. Perfect. So here are my two cards. This is the green one, and I decided to finish off the inside, of course, with some more sequins. I needed just a little something else, and I glued one of those other sentiments onto the back. So there's my green one, and then here's my purple one. So pretty, all the random sequins, and then the inside with more sequins. That pretty pink, let's celebrate. I really like that color with this, and then the watercolor background, and that one's made with love. So yeah, that is how you use the Spellbinders Better Press to make a beautiful card. Thanks for watching.